Hello my wonderful friends, Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to this channel, we are Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. Today we're going to be reading from our holy book Asha, from Asha 12. But, but first, I, I wanted you just to imagine this. What if you were born into a world where they take you as a small child maybe a parent or a grandparent, and they take you to a church or a synagogue or a temple, and they teach you that the highest principle of God good, the highest you can reach, that, that entity, that principle, that supposedly creator source can get angry, can get jealous, can hate, can war, kill men, women, and children, repent that he even made mankind, that he likes bloody sacrifice. My friends, that he can send good and evil. As long as you're doing what you're told. If, if your priest says, give us your money, you better do it. If they say, give us your child to go fight in our wars, you better do it. My friends, uh, to me that would be child abuse. It would be awful. And imagine if after living bound by that idea that you can never break above because they warned you they told you what to look out for you know don't ever go into your heart you might get deceived by a devil you might hear something different than what we've taught you in our bibles and Qurans and gitas and they, they told you exactly what someone was going to say to try to trick you into believing don't ever think you're higher than the god that they presented they, they, they put fear in you of hell. My God, it'd be child abuse. And then the end of it all is it must just be destroyed and, and war and fire and destruction because it's so evil. And, and this the stories, my friends, in their so-called good books, if your child's disrespectful, stone them. If the women are acting up, stone them. Go and kill the men, women, and children. Take all the gold. You got to kill them. Even the kids... But, but you can keep the good-looking women, the, the virgins, for sex slaves. Because I don't think the sin's too deep in them yet. So apparently the children, but, but not the good-looking women. And my friends, because it's planted in the mind at such an early age by people you trusted, you take it as your truth and you see this earth going in that direction. They won't be happy till it's destroyed by fire. But, but, my friend, there's another fire, and that's why the Magi are here. It's, it's the fire of truth, Asha. And, and this fire, it burns out the lion illusion. It burns out those false gods and those ridiculous stories with the truth. If you got your book, Asha, go to Asha 12. If you don't have this yet, I'll, I'll leave a link in the drop-down description. All the money goes to charity. My friend, go, go to Asha 12, please. Asha 12 says, there's nothing for me outside. I've spent too long looking outside of myself, outside of my heart. I've been looking for meaning. What is it all about? I can't seem to find it in their Bibles and Qurans and Gitas. And, and I go every Sunday and I give them my money. And I still can't find meaning in this life. I've been looking for purpose, affirmation, approval, love, truth, happiness, and even God, where are you? I cry out. Why has God never showed up? I find myself ever searching. So what do we do? Asha 12 says, quiet. All the many thoughts, all the many ideas, all the many stories you've been given, all the many lies. You've been told, just quiet them, just for a moment. And go inside to your heart of hearts. And there you're going to find truth. You're going to find Seoshat Vohumenu, the God mind, the Christ mind. Your Savior, your love, all you've been looking for. And you will have that realization. There has never been separation from my good, from my love, from my peace, from my joy, from... from a religion that makes sense because it's always been in me because it came with me. They had to lie to me. They, they had to suppress the truth. 
They, they had to take advantage of my childlike mind. But my friends, you can only hide the sunshine for so long. You can only hide the light for so long. You can only hide truth for so long. It will rise. My friends, and when that light comes, the darkness flees. When the truth comes, the lie is exposed for what it is. As I speak this, you know God, the highest principle of good, is not one of those warring gods, those slaughtering gods, those bloody sacrifice gods, those warring gods. No, my friends, in your heart you know He's just good. The highest principle, that highest force of good, because it's in you, you know it. You realize there's no separation, for we are one. I come from that good spirit. I'm made of that good spirit. And all the truth, all the happiness I've been looking for, it's here right now because I am that. And I know this. Good is God is. Asha is. Good spirit is omnipresent. My, my good is omnipresent. My love is omnipresent. I find it in here, not in a church, a temple, a synagogue, not in those awful stories. I find it in my heart of hearts. My friends, Asha 13 says the original word is all good comes from the Creator and no evil. And from that original word, our spiritual world is made straight and our material world comes into order. This world is not lost yet because, my friends, the Magi are here. The truth is here. And we are few in numbers. But, but as we speak this truth, and we hold this truth, and we be this truth, my friends, it's contagious. This, this fire, it, it spreads throughout the earth. It resonates in people's hearts of hearts. And it helps them to overcome that wrong conditioning and the lies that they've been implanted with. My friend, I ask you to join us today. Join us here in the Order of the Magi. Hold this truth of the all-good spirit of Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. Asha is. Guys, I love you so much. Be blessed. Share this message with someone. And know I love, love, love you.